Hi everyone, it's Bella Geminales and today I'm going to be embellishing this beautiful colorful bag. It is a spring bag and I thought it was adorable with all this gibberish written all over it. It is one of the biggest bags I own, bigger than even the scenic mural bag, which I'll show you an idea of. This one at 40 centimeters. It is 43 centimeters in length, in height, it is 26 centimeters and 15 centimeters in depth. So you could see how colorful it is on each one of the sides. I'm gonna show you the back. It has a long strap, but I pulled it through to create two straps. It is also very nicely colored on the back side. It has a convenient pouch where you could put documents or whatever you need if you're traveling. You can also slide that through your hand grip on your luggage and that makes it for convenient travel bag as well. And I'll show you the inside. You can see how spacious that is. It is very well made. $56 is what I paid. I think they increased the price online. I'll post the links below, but I am going to be embellishing it. And if you'd like to learn how to create it, just keep on watching. First thing you're going to do is prop your bag so that it is leveled. You're also going to want to stuff it so that it's firm. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the loop for today really quickly. I went to one of my favorite stores, Bead Factory, and I purchased two gross, I don't know how many is that, 144 maybe, 30 SS in size of Crystal AB. Okay, this is what you're getting. I purchased two of them because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put rhinestones on each one of these squares. And I also purchased for $1.50 some of these embellishments, which you've seen previously. I just have them in a variety of colors. And that was pretty much it. I spent a total of $20 at that store. So it was very cost effective. $5.75 for these and I bought two, so 20 bucks. Okay guys, get your surface where you're going to be placing your E6000 clear on and get some tweezers so that you can start applying. You're going to pour a little glue, dip your rhinestones and place each one on the bag. Reminder, if you're working with E6000, wear a mask and work in a well-ventilated area because this glue is highly toxic. So for these stones, I decided to go with a crystal uh, AB because it has the iridescent tone to it. It kind of looks blue, green, yellow, pink, orange. So that's the reason I'm using this color, but you could choose any color that you'd like. You could even do crystal clears. And the next thing I'm going to do is embellish the bottom part. I'm not going to be embellishing the underside of the flap here because you can't see it. So I'll only do the bottom portion. Okay guys, so I just got done with placing the embellishments on the bottom side of the bag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using these acrylic perfume bottles and they have a layer of plastic on top. You're just gonna peel them off. Now the buyer that I purchased these from was on AliExpress, but he stopped selling these. However, I did find another site by typing in acrylic Chanel perfume bottles and they have them. However, they are pins. So you would just clip the backside part off and then you would have the same perfume bottles. This is a different seller, but they're similar to the ones that I have. Okay guys, so I used these acrylic patches or two of them in my design the Coco Clear bag that you guys loved, the black and white one. I'll post the picture here so you can see it and I'll post the link below for the video if you haven't seen it. Remember not to have sticky fingers while you're pressing these acrylic pieces down because you will frost them and ruin them. You're applying it right in the center and then laying it right on top. Doesn't matter if there's a rhinestone underneath, don't worry about that. So we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna start getting into the fun part, which is adding the big 
crystals all around it next to the patches that correspond to the color of these stones. So the next thing we're gonna do after these dry is spread out the gemstones the way that you want them on the bag. I'm not embellishing the bottom portion of the bag with these large gemstones. I am only using them on the top portion of the flap. Now, I am color coordinating the stones with the base of the bag. So the blue with the blue, the green, the yellow, the pink, and then a slight orange here because it just looks aesthetically pleasing. So you can choose to embellish the top portion or leave it as is. It doesn't need the extra, but of course I am going to go all the way with it. Place the glue in a little glob in the center, not all around the stone. And try not to place the big stones on the top flap where your arm goes because then you can knock them off. This is gonna be a delicate bag obviously because you have high 3D. So you're always gonna to have to be careful but at least if it's not high up, you have less chances of knocking the stones off. Okay guys, so the last step we're going to be doing is adding these right encrusted AB crystal bows to the perfume bottles. Once you're done with that, you're just gonna let it dry. Okay guys, so this is the finished product and you could see how beautiful it is. The bows have dried on the acrylic perfume bottles and you could see how the gemstones combine with the purse. This bag is very, very large, so it's not convenient for every day unless you like oversized bags, which is what I love the most. It is stunning. I'm going to post all the links below for you guys to check out. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up or pop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.